Pickles, they have a really strong taste. 
but like the crust you can't taste at all. Try it. It's more of like a, a nutty aftertaste. It works. It's odd, but it works. Three and a half out of five was. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. It's a, it's a nut crust, but I don't know if the nut works with the fish, but I'll eat it. As for you know, asparagus, tomatoes, Ooh, mushrooms, a little bit of pasta. Mushrooms? Gross. So is everybody happy with this? What do you think the brown things are? No. Really good. Do you need anything? I'm good. Okay. I'll leave you be. I get you on the salt. Like a lot of the veggies are really salty. I don't know if it's just like we were cooking straight soy sauce. But it's like biting into like a salt block. It's cooked and crispy, but you can't really taste the veggies. It's just like a salt bite and pasta. One and a half out of five plus. Like if there was like some broth to wash off that salt, maybe, but I'm not a horse. I don't want salt lick. So, I get shrimp and grits a lot. So, the best shrimp and grits that I've had on uh, in the Disney bubble on Disney property was at Olivia's. So yeah, so I think it's like once a week they swap out their specials. So they had shrimp and grits. I think we went. It was a few weeks ago. So the special was shrimp and grits, and I had to get shrimp and grits because it was they had it, and I had to do it. Um, shrimp and grits at Olivia's is better. This is really good but the shrimp and grits at Olivia's was outstanding so Olivia's is cheaper so I've got to 100% give it to Olivia's so this is good though it's not the best pasta in the world but we're not here for pasta we're here for seafood so it's gonna be salty let me put a little salt tree here sprinkle with the salt I'm just saying, you're doing it anyway. Yep. Hi. <laughs> Hello, YouTube friends. <laughs> so anyway, what I was, we were, we were just discussing that um, I've been wanting to come to Paddlefish for a long time, and I've, I've always heard of like mixed reviews. Some you know like whatever, and then some of like it's fantastic. Uh, as far as the atmosphere, it's it's fantastic. The, the place inside it looks tremendous, right? Um, the food was good, but as far as the price you pay for the food that you get, it's it's okay. So, but you know, there's a lot, you know, a lot more places you can get great, you know, in, instead of just okay. So, um, not gonna give it claws because you know, I'm not a bear. So, um, I'll give it a, you know, I'll give it a 2.5 out of 5. I mean, it's good, but not great. Jody, it's very loud in here. It is. Um, it, it, I thought it would be quieter beca just because of the scale of the restaurant. Um, the food was okay. Great view. Um, but overall, probably a one and done. It is sort of fancy looking here. Very like modern ship design, I guess, which I guess is kind of the point, but. This isn't a place where I'd be like, I have to come here. It'd be like, we want to go to Paddlefish. I guess. I won't fight you on it, but I mean, there, there's other places here. There's Morimoto, there's the T-Rex restaurant. Morimoto is so much better. I know like, the, the T-Rex brought like TGI Fridays, but it's cheap and good. Real claw rating. Two out of five claws. Oh yeah, happy Dapper Day. <laughs> I can still hear you. <laughs>